Good evening, everyone. This is Lee Sin, and um, I'm going to be doing my first makeup tutorial for the evening. And uh, this is a nice late night tutorial. Um, got my coffee in hand. Um, so what we'll be doing tonight is a uh, kind of a like a peacock color scheme um, as by request from a good friend. Um, so this is going to entail some blues, some teals, some green, you know. Um, it's only going to be three colors, but it's going to end up looking kind of like a multi-dimensional effect, so it's going to be really cool. Um, may integrate some, some glitter, just depends on how I feel. Um, this is going to be my first tutorial, so if it comes out a little weird, okay. <laughs> it'll get better. Um, as you could probably tell, I've done a little bit of prep work. Um, I did my moisturizer, just so you know. I use my Clean and Clear Morning Burst. This is good. Um, it's an oil-free moisturizer. I use it because um, I have really oily skin, but then I have patches of dryness. So if I don't use a moisturizer, my skin feels really tight and itchy, and it gets really irritated. So uh, that stuff is great because it does not leave my skin feeling all oily and sticky and gross. Um, so that works out. Um, also, what I've done prior to starting this recording, I have uh, applied my foundation, which tonight I'm using my Smooth Minerals by Avon. It's pretty much like Bare Minerals, but it's way cheaper. Uh, and this is in porcelain. It's the only one that really seems to fit my skin tone, which is awesome. Um, it goes on super fast, super smooth. Love the application. And to top that off, I am using my Avon flawless, excuse me, ideal flawless uh, translucent pressed powder. Um, it gives you that like kind of airbrush finish, which I absolutely love, and it keeps the oil at bay. <laughs> um, so let's get started with the fun stuff. Um, so what I like to do before I put on anything, um, I like to go with my eyeshadow primer. What I use, and you know, everybody's different, but I'm personally I'm a huge fan of I Love Stage by Essence. It's basically, um, my absolute favorite um, eyeshadow primer and it is super not oily it is it doesn't cake on it doesn't crease anything like that throughout the day it has a super matte finish but it really um, allows that eyeshadow to stick to it and last throughout the day so love it so we're gonna start with that and I always wear my eyeshadow primer because um, otherwise what you're gonna end up with is less than stellar color payoff and it's going to probably fade off throughout the day. Um, oh, bonus, this stuff is only like four bucks at Ulta. Pretty sure it's the only place you can get it, but I may be wrong on that. So I'm just going to blend it in. Um, I, I use my finger to blend it in. I'm sure you could absolutely use an eyeshadow brush of some kind to blend it in, but uh, not necessary, obviously. I do stand behind using the best tools that you possibly can find because tools are key when it comes to applying makeup. If you're trying to apply eyeshadow with like a, a sponge tip applicator that comes with the eyeshadow, you get absolutely no control with that. Um, some people are good with sponge tips and hey, more power to them. I just can't use those things, man. I need to have like a substantial handle. All right. Good and blended, good stuff. Before I even get started on the colors though, I start with my highlighter. Um, the highlighter I use, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but we'll try. Black Heart White Face Powder. Focus. Maybe not. Yep, you get the idea. Um, so I get this stuff from Hot Topic and I buy it in bulk around Halloween. Usually that's when it's easy to find and there's a whole lot of it. The reason I use this stuff, a um, couple things. I use it as a highlighter for my face because because my skin tone is so pale, there isn't a, a shade lighter other than just white. <laughs> so, you know, I use it for that. And on top of that, um, I haven't really been able to find a matte white eyeshadow. I found a lot of... Um, like it almost looks matte, but then once I actually like get it home and start using it, it's got like shimmer or some kind of pearlescent effect to it. And sometimes you just need a really good matte finish. Um, and that's what this does. So I use it all the time. Um, so we're going to do this right underneath the brow. 
and that's just going to kind of highlight that part right above where all the eyeshadow is going and it really helps make your eyes pop and you guys might be wondering where my eyebrows went um funny story uh i grew up in the 90s and got rid of them <laughs> they don't fully grow back they don't really tell you that so now big out eyebrows are in and oh well i'm just gonna have to draw them in like most women and uh kind of preface this i'm not good with eyebrows so <laughs> be prepared <laughs> I make it work. Sorry. I love late night coffee. I know there's something wrong with me. Anywho, so to start us off, I like to start from the lightest to the darkest color. Some people do it the opposite. That's fine. Um, for this, though, what we're going to be doing is bloody mary and it's this electric yellow shade which doesn't really have a name it's just electric yellow so i get that i got this from hot topic years ago but they do have a website and i'll put that link in the notes underneath this wonderful video um following that i'm going to be using mac uh jewel blue this one's really fun it's a kind of like a teal but it's like a matte finished teal really really bright I love it um, and then another MAC color hit pan on this one <laughs> a long time ago uh, this one is deep truth it's just kind of like a dark shimmery navy um, I really like that color for really darkening the sides so anywho that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna start with the electric yellow by Bloody Mary and what I'm gonna be doing is just kind of putting that in the inner corners of the eye. Oh, and to do that, I'm using my wonderful rounded blending brush by e.l.f. These brushes are a dollar. They're amazing. So I'm putting this kind of right near the lash line, but then I'm also kind of arcing up into the crease as well. And I do like to get a little bit in the corner here. And we're going to do the same for the other side. Again, doing the same kind of area. Cool. Doesn't look like much by itself, but once we get those other colors kind of right next to it, it's going to look amazing. Amazing. Or as my friend Audrey would say, amazing. So, done with that brush, good stuff. So now I move on to, this is my, I think it's just called an eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. Um, it's kind of like a, almost like a fan tip squared off, but it's kind of thin. So this is a really great, if you can only afford one brush, get one like this, because this will be great for an all over color. You can really get into the creases and the corners and stuff like that. You, you don't really need another brush unless you just want to get super fancy. Um, so we're going to do that Jewel Blue by MAC that I brought up earlier. Really cake it on there. So I'm going to just kind of get in the crease here. I like to just start with a straight line into the crease and then fan it out. So it's going to kind of take on that broader stroke. And same for the other side. Now, pro tip, a lot of things that you may see on here, they may not work for your eye shape, and that's okay. Like, that's the one thing that kind of irritates me about some tutorials, is you'll see a tutorial and you're like, oh, that's great, I want to do that. You try it, and you're doing exactly the same thing that the person in the video is doing, and it does not turn out right, or it doesn't turn out the same. And it's because everybody's eyes are shaped differently and everybody has different skin tones so different color schemes look on diff better on different people the whole nine so there's a lot of things that kind of go into it and the good thing about makeup don't be afraid to go crazy because at the end of the day soap and water will take care of it <laughs> a lot of the stuff I, I never went to school for any of it 
and didn't get any kind of standard teaching. I literally just picked it up and said, oh, this color doesn't look right on me. Oh, this technique doesn't look right on me. I, I can't do subtle well. It just doesn't look right on me. So if you try this look and you're like, man, this is not right. I don't like it. That's fine. You know, it's just, it's a generalized tutorial that you can really use and kind of maybe use a couple of techniques here and there to really make it your own. Anywho, uh, moving on to Deep Truth, which is that dark navy blue I was talking about. And we're going to be using our smudge brush. Um, this is also by e.l.f. Super tiny on the bristles, super short. I like using this for the corners because you can get really detailed. So what I'm going to do is just kind of create almost like a greater than less than sign on each eye. <laughs> so I'm going to start right here. And just kind of make a straight line, straight-ish. It's not going to be perfectly straight ever. Okay. Perfect. And now a little bit moving into the crease. And just a little blending. Nothing too serious. Perfection. So, I'm done with the eyeshadow, but I don't know if I want to do glitter on the eyelid or if I want to do eyeliner. You know what? We're going to go with eyeliner glitter. That comes at the end. So, after I do my uh, application of my eyeshadow, what I like to do is take a big powder brush, doesn't matter what kind, and I just like to sweep underneath because sometimes there's a little bit of eyeshadow that falls by the wayside and you just don't want it kind of making you look like you have a black eye. <laughs> um, so cleaning that up, perfect. Now we get to doing the lining and defining, my favorite part. Um, so today what I'll use, I'm going to use my Avon Glimmer Sticks um, eyeliner. This is the um, glittery kind. So basically it's their basic black but it has some gold flecks in it. Um, I really like this stuff because it's super dark, it lasts all day, and I don't have to sharpen it because it's got that retractable tip. So I'm going to use this on the waterline right underneath here. So just making sure I'm still in the shot. <laughs> super professional. Just kind of a coverage on that bottom line there. But I also typically use like a coal liner as well. So coal liner or one of these, perfectly fine. This stuff doesn't budge, that's why I like it. And I have really, again, oily skin, so it tends to move if I'm not right, wearing the right kind, so good stuff. So moving on to my favorite part, which is the cat eye piece of it. So I use um, NYC and this stuff is super cheap, just, just standard my fingers in the shop. There we go. Uh, the liquid eyeliner. Um, this is just black. They have a glam black, which is kind of like pearlescent, like flakes of glitter. I don't know. Um, I like to just use a standard black. Personally, I'm a fan of this applicator. Um, I don't know if you can see it. So this is like the flexible brush. Some people like the felt tip. I can't use the felt tip. I've never been able to, to get the look that I want using a felt tip, so I use this stuff. So one big mistake a lot of people make with a liquid eyeliner is they try to do the whole line all in one swoop. It's not going to work. I like to do like kind of like little dots and then connect the dots and smooth it over. Key thing, um, if you screw it up, who cares? There's a way to fix it. There's always a way to fix it. All right, so what I like to do is I like to create this part first. Just a straight line, straight-ish, not totally straight. And then I kind of start from the middle of the upper lash line and I just kind of work my way back, not straying too far away from my lash line. 
and now I'm kind of working my way back into that corner and you don't have to go all the way in um, your mascara is going to do a lot of the definition on the inner part for you um, so I'm going to just kind of smooth this over now and broaden it out a little bit back to the other side. Once again, starting at the corner of the eye, just kind of making a line. Start at the middle of the lashes and work my way back. And connecting the dots. You know, I'm doing this tutorial and I'm realizing that I really need to clean my mirror. I'm sure a lot of you understand where I'm coming from. You're like working around the smudges when you really could just clean it, but who's got the time? <laughs> Cleanliness. <laughs> Anywho, all right, so that needs time to dry. So what I like to do is move on to my eyebrows. I think it is completely rubbed off. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that this is just a Rimmel, um, Rimmel London soft black eyebrow definer. Total great plug. Um, and like I said, I'm really not good with eyebrows. So I just kind of make it look like my eyebrows exist. <laughs> so I'm just going to color those bad boys in. I'm sure I'm gonna get like so much hate mail after this. Like, you're doing it wrong. You should be using this eyebrow kit thing and an angle brush. And I know the techniques that are out there, they just don't work for me. And that is okay. Cool. <gasps> Look at the difference. <laughs> okay, and this one is Everybody has that one eyebrow that is just jacked up. This is that eyebrow for me. I hate this eyebrow. There are days I contemplate just shaving it off and being one of those weirdos that has like no eyebrows. Oh, funny story. When I was like 14, I dated this guy and he had um, his eyebrows shaved off. And he did these like intricate like tribal designs instead of eyebrows with like liquid eyeliner. It was amazing. I wonder whatever happened to that guy. I think his name was Bill. Super common name. All right, almost done. That looks even-ish. Whatevs. All right, so now that this eyeliner has dried, I can move on to mascara. Okay, I like to use the Maybelline Colossal Lash. This is just the standard one. I think they have a cat eye one too, but I haven't really used that one. I think the only thing that's different is the brush. This one just got your standard mascara brush, nothing fancy. Um, I just like this stuff because it's easy to apply and it makes my lashes look nice. So what else could you ask for? Plus it's cheap. <laughs> All right. And so I just kind of work my way through my lashes. I am donning what we would call the mascara face. Everybody knows the mascara face. All right, almost done. Cool. Moving on.
my bangs keep getting into the mascara, so that's nice. All right. So, lashes are in place, and I'm pretty much done. The only other thing I want to do, I like using this stuff. This is also backed by Blackheart. Um, anything that's by Belt Blackheart is um, from Hot Topic. Really affordable. They usually have buy one, get one half offs, and their stuff is super fun, and it's really cheap. So this is just glitter liner. I like this glitter liner because I've bought a lot of glitter liners that dry out within like a month. And it's like you're not wearing glitter liner every single day, so it goes to waste. This stuff actually lasts for a really long time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit underneath because why not? I almost went out of frame. <laughs> I'm such a novice. I'm just going to put a little bit from like right here up. I like to go not too crazy with it because then it'll end up looking like just too much, you know, but then again, I'm a 90s kid. You can never have too much glitter. <laughs> All right, so this little subtle look, just a little bit of glimmer. All right, finally, I get to do my lipstick. So this is Kat Von D's Studded Kiss in Cathedral. I would show you the label, but my camera's not gonna pick that up, but yep, nope, got nothing. Um, so I love this color. This and Lolita, I can kind of go interchangeably with them. You can wear them every day with everything and it's the absolute best. Um, so it's just kind of like a plummy brown pink. I'm sure she has a really nice description on her website. Check it out. Um, I love Kat Von D's stuff because it's this, these intricate details that my camera can't even pick up because it's that crappy. Um, but she's got her initials carved in there. Um, it's super smooth. It has this incredible payoff. I'm a huge, huge fan. I normally can't really afford luxury lipsticks or anything like that, but this stuff is so worth it. Um, all right, so then this is going to be it. This is going to be final the final stuff, but yeah. Beautiful. So, and we're done. So it normally doesn't take me that long, um, but of course I was stopping to show you like what everything was. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna have a lot more looks to do on these tutorials. We're gonna play around with some more glitter, maybe some more broad, crazy looks, especially as we get closer to Halloween, my favorite holiday. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much kind of just a fun look. I, I try not to do the same eyeshadow looks every day, so you'll see a lot of different options from this channel, but if there's any kind of specifics or any looks that you see me walking around with and you're like, oh, I want to see that, you know, um, just let me know. Uh, leave it in the comments below or um, I'll also link you to my, um, I have an email box, um, I also have Tumblr, um, and I'm also on Twitter. So I'll put all of those down there. You'll have plenty of options to reaching out to me because um, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what you think. I'm sure you're going to have tons of stuff to tell me that I did wrong, which is totally fine. I know nowhere close to perfect. Um, but I do hope you liked it, and I hope that uh, I get to see you guys more. And um, I'm also going to be having some uh, like kind of advice, general discussion, anonymous questions uh, on my other channels. So 
I'm actually probably feeling filming that right after this one. Um, so, you know, submit what you need and I will deliver. I am at your disposal. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share, get the word out, and I will see you guys later.